Hello everybody, well today I search for a new first person shooter game to play. As you know I dropped playing Battlefield 2042 because it was absolutely terrible uh, and I decided well I need an FPS game and I tried different ones, many of them I just didn't connect. So today I played a game that is popul a popular game that I haven't touched before, I mean I heard about it, it's called Splitgate. And uh, if you heard about it, great. If you haven't and you love first person shooter games, you have to check it out. So basically it uses uh, the mechanics of portal. You can create uh, two portals, one uh, entrance and one exit, and you can position it on walls that you see here. Uh, it doesn't matter how far they are. You can actually just point at it and you can just use it to flank enemies, create different escape routes. And this makes the game so, so much exciting. You can actually just position yourself and shoot through the portal so enemies just die there. <laughs> You're just standing outside of the portal and if you see an enemy, you can just shoot them or just bait them into coming into the portal. And the thing is that it's so funny because it confuses enemies so much. Uh, you just see enemies just looking around them, don't know what to do, and then you just whoop, surprise them. You can also float double jump here for quite some time, which is also nice. Again, it's not overextending the floating. It's just enough to make it, uh, you know, uh, have more mobility basically and fun you can see on the minimap by the way the enemies where they are located and they can see you you of course as well there are different game modes uh that you can do this let's say also a custom map design which is really cool I actually now on discord uh with a map creator that created some really cool maps that i want to try it out unfortunately there's no auto matchmaking for those map creation i think but you know you can just create a lobby and somebody can actually just join in and of course, there are many, many weapons. Uh, in this gameplay, you can see me using a uh, shotgun. Uh, you can use, you can have different weapons. So you can have, for example, sniper rifle, shotgun, auto rifle. I find the combination of sniper rifle and uh, shotgun to be the most uh, useful for me and the one that fits my playstyle uh, best. And it's really, really fun like that. And actually, knowing that even if you get cornered for some reason, you always kind of can find uh, yourself a way out. And usually when you're in a situation, you always kind of seek for escape route just in case or a, a, a place we can actually flank enemies or hide or... So basically in this game, you create it yourself and you can need to create it sometimes ahead of time so you can surprise an enemy uh, when they come after a wall, for example, and see where you are and try to shoot you. They won't actually get a uh, straight shot at you. They're actually going to see a portal where you actually be standing and shooting them from behind the portal. So crazy stuff. And of course, it can get even crazier uh again I, I just stopped playing so i'm sure there are some really crazy stuff but for some reason i've seen many players not actually using the portal but i'm sure in ranked which is still need to get some uh, more points in order to unlock rank i'll be able to uh rank up and i'm, I'm sure that the higher levels player will take use of that uh quite heavily but at the lower levels people just run gun and shoot uh like call of duty but even then the game is still fun and i love games where the shooting feels very very punchy and precise and fast and responsive and this is exactly what uh what this game is and again there's so many games that i didn't find you know that i'm connected with them because they didn't feel responsive they felt a bit too floaty and you know and there that extra that i want in a game something original and fun uh, they were missing and this game just have it all together and the game is uh, popular you can easily find matches there's no waiting time just poof, you find a match the different game was really cool Lots of maps, by the way, they are very well designed, considering, of course, the portal aspect of the game. Here you can see me, I just uh, using it to find a place where I can actually see, I just put it from behind the enemies, so I can actually use a portal and just, if they are just staying there, because there are two portals, that enemies can actually hide, so just put a portal behind them, and I just want to see, you know, if somebody go there, and I'm going to just stab them from behind, or shoot them from behind, and that was indeed the case. So basically understanding the way the map is designed will allow you to really gain advantage, especially if you have experience in certain maps and you know exactly, you know, where the kind of a hot spots are, where enemies are hiding usually and can try to surprise them, make them at least worry about what's coming from a portal from behind them. So overall, I highly recommend checking out the game. If you like first person shooters, you want to play something different. It's not a new game, but one that for me, it was new because I ju just jumped into this game just today. Uh, that's about it. Just giving a... Uh, Shout out for this game if you're searching for a cool first-person shooter game for PC and you, you, know, you haven't uh, found anything great and you haven't heard about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.